The Mobile City Council voted unanimously to pass an industrial development in the Dog River watershed following 18 months of going back and forth. WKRG News 5's Asher Rudd has been following the story. You went to the city council meeting today, Asher, and the deal didn't look like it was going to move forward at one point. Yeah, and you may even remember last week, everyone seemed to be on the same page. However, the approval of the project looked very bleak before council members even walked into the chamber. When the, the sort of machine of industry and you know the government and the board and a uh, big industry, big billion dollar company from Chicago, when they all get on one side of an issue, you know, it's hard to get them to listen to you. District 4 Councilman Ben Reynolds says he's been consumed with this project for the past three weeks, but just before the council was set to vote, there was confusion among the parties involved. There is a 40 acre parcel of land that we really negotiated hard on. The negotiations between the city and the developer led many to believe that the 40 acres would go into a conservation easement to ensure its protection. We couldn't get there, so we thought the best way to protect that area is to make it residential. Aside from the residential development, the unanimous vote gave the green light to the Indianapolis-based developer Scannell Properties to build a $650 million industrial facility along the CSX Railroad. But the project comes with city incentives. May I prompt the movement second in a discussion? Yes, sir, Mr. President. Mr. Reynolds. I'd like to offer two amendments, and I'll do them individually. Those amendments include a traffic light that will be placed at the intersection of Todd Acres Drive and Range Line Road, a list of things the property cannot be used for, such as coal handling, and 105 acres of wetlands to be donated and preserved. The city and county have pitched in $2 million each, while the Industrial Park Board of Mobile County contributes $2.5 million. That money, according to Reynolds, will go to infrastructure improvements in the surrounding areas. David Salinas, a senior developer at Scannell, says Scannell must acquire the proper permits before they can begin construction, something that could take a few months. I'm just ready to get started on the actual work, which is going out and winning some uh, some users and building some buildings. So we're really excited. To provide at least 50 jobs and 250,000 square feet of industrial space in its first phase. Previously, Salinas estimated the full 87 acre project could take up to 10 years to complete. Live in the studio this evening, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.